You're listening to the world of business and taxes with Mike Lodge, keeping you informed. So let's get started. And welcome to the WBT. This is Mike Lodge, and I'm glad that you've joined me once again. And today we're going to talk about something that I am feeling really, really bad about because I'm seeing this happen not only in my tax practice where I see Californians coming into my office to have their taxes prepared, but they're living from paycheck to paycheck. They might be making a hundred thousand, they might be making two hundred thousand, but they have overextended themselves so much that they are literally living paycheck to paycheck. So Californians are not saving I saw a good article that was done yesterday by Bill O'Reilly on one of his podcasts. And I felt that it was really important to share some of the numbers that he shared because it's scary of what's going on right now with California citizens. One thing that we need to talk about is, one, California has a 20% poverty rate and it is growing. That means that the 20% of Californians are living with, within or below the poverty rate. That's a scary situation right there. And that number is growing from year to year. So what's happening is that Californians are becoming more dependent on government help. California created this problem. And they have chased away so many jobs out of California that the poverty rate is going up and plus have introduced these sanctuary cities and that has brought in lower income individuals. So I'm going to read what Bill O'Reilly said yesterday because I, I need to get the numbers correct word by word. It is in California, okay? So 37% of all households, all households in California, the nation's largest state, have no cash in the bank. None. They're living paycheck to paycheck or welfare check to welfare check. They don't have any money. So if anything happens where they have a debate or whatever, they can't pay it. Many of these people run up a big credit card debt. And I'm seeing that in my practice. I'm seeing that Californians, taxpayers, are making money, but they're still they're still building up their debt on credit cards and up to $30,000, $40,000, even over $100,000. Because they, they're living from paycheck to paycheck. So they're using the credit card as something to tie them over. But that's where they get into trouble. Because the more debt that you mount, the more trouble you become. The less cash you have in the bank, the more trouble you get into. No one is putting together an emergency fund for in case something should happen. Then it goes on and says... It says 61% of Latino households in California have no savings. 57% of black households have no savings. 28% of white have no savings. So that's how, it's, that's how it breaks down. Now, if you are in the circumstance, you are going to have to depend on the government sooner or later, probably sooner. And that takes your power. If you don't have any money, individual power is nil. It's gone. You're dependent upon somebody giving you enough to survive. That's what it is. So California, very prosperous state. In the sense that the economy is huge. It's big. It's, it, it compares to a world economy. But in certain places in California, destitution rules in the minority precincts, or the communities. Destitution. Huge taxes in California. This is a price you pay for a welfare state. It's a vicious cycle. 
I'm, I'm seeing this so much as I talk to my clients. And I see that they are struggling. They have no cash in the bank. Sometimes they have to predate checks for when their next paycheck comes in and they can pay me for my services. I see it all the time. I even look at my receivables and I have a huge receivables because clients have not been able to pay their fees to me to prepare their taxes. I'm going to have to write off a lot of money this year. Because I probably will not be able to collect on a lot of those people because they just don't have it. Californians and a lot of other states also. But California is in trouble because it is not paying attention to its personal financial situations. And maybe that's because the state of California are not being fiscally sound. They are not being good stewards of our tax dollars because they overspend on programs and projects and everything else and then they run out of cash. So then they come up with a new gas tax and they begin stealing from that gas tax to pay for all of the other programs in the state of California. But Californians... You need to take control of your own personal finance. You need to set up yourselves on budgets and live within those budgets. If you need help, call me at 877-778-1770. We'll sit down and we'll go over your finances to see where you stand and we'll create a budget for you if you need that help. But you've got to stay on that budget. You've got to be able to build up your savings. You've got to be able to pay down that debt. Californians are in trouble. And you're just a tiny speck away from going on government assistance if you're not already on it in some form. So Californians need to do better. They need to be good stewards of their financial conditions. Again, if you need help, just just call our office and we'll be able to, to sit down with you and, and start doing this for you. So Californians, I'm sorry to say that we have a 20% poverty rate and it's growing every year. And that more, more Californians are becoming dependent upon government help. And that you're not saving money. We have to do better. You and I have to do better to be good stewards of our financial condition. So, come on guys, let's work on this. We need to do better. We can do it, but it takes somebody to guide you and it it takes you to really focus on where you need to be. Debt is awful. If you have any kind of debt, it's awful. It, It weighs upon you. And sometimes you even make bigger decisions because you feel better going out and being able to use your credit card to buy something that makes you feel good. But then actually what it's doing is creating more debt for you. So come on guys, we can do this. You and I, we can do this. We can get our debt down, we can start saving our money, and we can say to the state of California, bye-bye because we don't need your help. We're going to do this on our own. But we also have to hold the state of California accountable for how they spend our tax money that we give them. That's it for today for for the WBT. This is Michael Lodge. If you want to listen to all of our podcasts, a good place to go, I'll give you two good places to go. Go to our website at www.wbt pod pod.com it has all of our podcasts there it has all of our all of our um uh writings there it has it has everything all news updates everything and you can also listen to us on iheart radio we're there every single day and we try to do a podcast to educate those that listen to us because i listen what i do every morning i try to educate myself 
This morning I got up at 5 a.m. I read until 6 a.m. I found the articles that I needed to share in our blogs and everything. And in our, our, our daily Flipboard magazine that we do on entrepreneurship and keeping everybody informed on what's happening in business. But I study every single day because I feel that I need to learn every day. So that's why we do these podcasts. <clears throat> Excuse me. We do these podcasts so that we can help you also learn what's going on out there. This podcast has, has been brought to you by Lodging Company, a business advisory and tax firm. Call us at 877-778-1770 or visit our website at www dot lodge l o d g e dash c o dot com. I'll talk with you later and have a great day. Remember, become good stewards. Thank you for listening. Join us again tomorrow. Stay informed with the world of business and taxes with Mike Lodge. Have a great day.